So we were seeing the toolbars in the MicroStation software. This main toolbar has all the options which are present or all the tools which are required over here for drafting. So using the same toolbar, suppose you want to draw a line, you can choose this option, place smart line over here, click on this, left click and you can draw the smart line in this way. That is how we will be drawing the line. Now in this, after drawing the line, in order to come out of the line command, you can either go with right click or suppose I will draw one more line over here, somewhere around here. After drawing this line, I can directly click on this mouse for element selection. When I click on this, I will be coming out of the line command. Okay, This is the main toolbar and in this, we saw the play smart line option. In this smart line option, we have a number of sub options as well. For example, we have the normal line, multi line, streamline, splines, etc. etc. Under each heading, there are a number of sub options. Depending upon their use, you can choose any of the sub options. Now, in order to get the sub options separately, you can directly left click over here and keep it pressed, keep the left mouse button pressed, drag it outside in this way and leave the left mouse button. Now this is your linear elements toolbar that is a sub toolbar from the main toolbar. In this way from each option you can drag the sub options from it outside in this way. This is your polygons sub toolbar. That is how we will be dragging it outside. Left click on the option and keep your left mouse button pressed and move outside to the drafting screen and leave your left mouse button. In this way you will be dragging out that particular toolbar. Okay. If you do not require them you can close it and you can get it anytime by carrying out the same procedure. So this is your main toolbar. Apart from this we have three other toolbars. The first one is the standard toolbar and the next one over here is the primary tools toolbar and the last one is your attributes toolbar. These three toolbars are by default present over here in the top row. Okay. I'm placing them back. Standard toolbar, primary tools toolbar and the attributes toolbar. We'll be seeing the options later on. So, so far we have seen how to draw a normal smart line and what are the various toolbars, what are the names. Apart from that, over here you have two floating toolbars. That is, this is your element selection toolbar and your acute draw toolbar. Now, this element selection by default is de-highlighted. That is, there are no sub options in it. Whenever you choose any of the commands, then the sub options in that command get highlighted in your element selection option. That is this toolbar changes into a dialog box like this. And over here, you can use the sub options under this particular tool called smart line. If it's a rectangle over here, block, then the sub options will change. If you do not have any command activated, if you just have this mouse or if you just go with right click, sorry left click on the mouse option, then the command gets de-highlighted and you are out of that particular command. So element selection is blank. Apart from that, acute draw is used as a space wherein you can enter the dimensions. All the dimensions of the objects can be entered over here itself the x distance, the y distance, etc. We will be seeing the use of acute draw. For now, I am just moving them away. And apart from these three toolbars and this main toolbar, if at all your screen does not show up any of these toolbars, you can go over here, select the tools option and in the tools option, you have attributes toolbar, primary toolbar and standard toolbar. These three toolbars over here. Next the main toolbar. 
all the four are currently highlighted check that is the reason these are visible you can deselect any of it and they won't be displayed in this way you can check it again and they'll be displayed these toolbars which uh, these toolbars which are listed down over here are nothing but a repetition of all these sub options sub tools over here you can directly go over here and select any of these options so you go with cells and this is your cells sub toolbar okay you can even get it from here drag it outside and this is your cells sub toolbar apart from all of these there is also a view control toolbar over here these small icons which are present over here are basically used to control the viewing of the drawing okay. so before we proceed to the view control toolbar let us also see the usage of the mouse the mouse over here the left mouse button of the mouse is used as the element selection option that is in order to select a particular tool you will be choosing the left mouse button it is referred to as entering a data point that is whenever you want to use the left mouse button you will be referring to it as entering the data point whenever throughout this tutorial whenever i use the word click it implies that we are left clicking unless otherwise i specify you need to right click on a particular place all right by default you will be choosing your left mouse button in order to draw it in order to come out you will go with right click the right click button of the mouse is used for reset reset or accept okay select this i'm choosing again i'm clicking on this that means i'm left clicking i'm drawing it in this way and then i can go with right click to reset or accept whatever you want to call it right apart from this left click as well as right click at a time can be used to enter a tentative point we'll be seeing what are tentative points when do you use them for now whenever i click left mouse button and right mouse button at a time i'll be getting a tentative point you can just note it down we'll be seeing the use of tentative points later on i'll select over here and i'll left click and right click together and you have entered a tentative point over there that is it's not yet permanent you have temporarily stored that location okay next apart from this in order to zoom in and zoom out you can just rotate the mouse wheel over here on the mouse you can rotate the mouse wheel and in order to pan that is in order to move your drawing you can hold down the shift key in the keyboard and then press your left mouse button and then move gradually you can just move a little and stop after which it will keep on moving at that particular speed you can come out that is you can stop moving by leaving your left mouse button again now if i want to go in the rightward direction i have my sh uh, shift button pressed on the keyboard i'll click my left mouse button and i'll this time go in the right direction i'll move it a little and i'll stop moving the mouse but i'll have the left mouse button press in this way i'm going to pan it or move it hold down your shift key left click keep it pressed and move and stop it stop it in the sense stop the movement of the mouse you will have two buttons pressed right now when it is moving the shift button as well as the left mouse button leave, leave the left mouse button and it will stop moving again press it and this time come down if you increase it, the speed like this it can move at a higher speed as well that is how you will be panning it or moving the drawing okay right so that was about the usage of mouses now after seeing this before we enter the view control toolbar we'll take a break that is we'll continue in the next session